She has a distinguished law career and is currently serving on the Kentucky Court of Appeals. And the Kentucky Gazette just named Judge Pamela Goodwine one of the top women in politics and government for 2020. Judge Goodwine joins me now from her office in downtown Lexington. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm doing well, thanks. It's great to have you. And first off, congratulations on the award. What did you think when you heard that one of the top women in politics and government in Kentucky? Well, I'll be, I was absolutely thrilled. I'm honored to be included as one of the many talented, dedicated, and influential women in Kentucky. I certainly am among um, several who are influential, talented, and also dedicated um, in the field of government and politics. I'm certainly thrilled and honored. To what do you attribute your success? What helped get you to this point? Perseverance, obviously. I also have a passion for the law and a drive. Um, my goal as a teenager was to become a judge. Now, obviously, my path getting there wasn't as smooth as it could have been. There were certainly obstacles and tragedies um, that I had to overcome to get there. But it was a determination and a dedication that I was going to make a difference in the lives of um, those that I came in contact with. And that was a goal at a very young age. And I'm certainly glad that um, I was able to pursue both that career and my dream here in Lexington. What would be your message to young women out there who may want to follow in your footsteps? What were some of the lessons you learned that may help them now going forward? One thing that I would recommend, and I always say this when I'm speaking to young women, is that I refuse to let anyone else define my destiny. I refuse to listen to negative commentary, questioning my skin color, asking if I was black enough. I refuse to let anyone else tell me what I could not do. And so I tell young women, and I tell um, particularly those with a dream, to never let go of their dream, to always believe in themselves, and to always know that they can do whatever it is that they want to do. And I always say, never tell a determined woman what she cannot do. Because it makes us more determined. It makes us more determined. Absolutely. What have the past 12 months been like for you, professionally and personally? It has been a challenge. As you, as you know, this past year with, um, the, with COVID-19 um, taking its toll on our nation and on our community, as a person who likes to socialize, who likes to hug, who likes to um, be personable with others, having to stay at home was pretty difficult. Um, however, in my job, I am able to work from home. I am able to do all of the things that I can do in the office from home um, with the advent of computers and, and research. I can do all of that in, um, from home. We've also had our oral arguments via Zoom, which is a new technology we all had to, to get accustomed to. And so my professional life really didn't change much. I, I was still able to get my work done. In fact, I've completed my casework through March of 2021. I'm now working on April. 2021 cases. Personally, I obviously couldn't go to luncheons, couldn't attend breakfasts, couldn't attend dinners and things that I was so used to doing and um, being, you know, communicating with, with others. And that was difficult for me and hard for me, but I've tried to stay in contact with very, very close friends via Zoom, uh, via Facebook, via Twitter, via texting and things like that. And another thing that you have done throughout your life that you have just picked up, you were certified a jazzercise instructor in 2012. What has that been like, getting involved with jazzercise? Oh, my God. I, it has been 10 years now since I discovered jazzercise, and I discovered it by accident. It was offered at my doggy daycare. I thought it was an exercise program for the dogs. <laughs> And I went to sign up my dog and they said, Pam, this is for the moms. And Jazzercise is a workout that blends cardio, dance, Pilates, yoga, kickboxing, and strength training all in one. And it was the first exercise program that I went to, one where I was not judged. There's no judgment. It's a judgment-free zone. No one knew who I was. So to think I could go in sweats and exercise and no one knew who I was, and then I kept seeing this motto that said, take it, love it, teach it. 
And I took the class. I love the class. And I'm like, okay, now how do I teach the class? And a year later, when I turned 52 years old, I went and auditioned. It's a national audition, a national certification um, to become a fitness instructor. And the moment I passed and was able to actually teach with the passion that I had taken the classes was just absolutely phenomenal. And it is a complete stress reliever. Um, you can go and just let it out. You can dance like nobody's watching. And it, you know, not only because it's a fitness program, but also it's a community. Now, you know, we did have some tough times during COVID because we had to follow, you know, Governor Bashir's mandates and we had to shut down. We are now live streaming our classes um, and our in-person classes are limited, but we do follow the um, CDC's guidelines for social distancing and mask wearing. Um, but it is, it is a community within itself. And at 5.30 a.m., I get up at 3 a.m. every morning. My class is at 5.30 a.m. And when you leave there, when you leave a Jazzercise class, you are completely renewed, completely um, just rejuvenated and ready to take on the world. So how can people at home take your class? Um, our live streaming is for members only. And if they're interested in um, either live streaming or in-person classes, they can go to www.jazzercisehartland.com and join. And once they join, they can attend either in-person classes or our live streaming classes via band. Um, and it is, like I said, absolutely um, phenomenal. Judge Goodway, thank you so much for your time and for what you are doing for our community. Thank you, Jennifer, for having me. I appreciate it.